Welcome to C Sharp Code. In this video, we'll create a drop down menu for admins to navigate and manage books, authors, and genres pages. On each page, we'll be able to search, add, or update the corresponding entity. Additionally, we'll ensure that validations are in place for all our forms. To create a drop down, we need to modify the admin link and include links to the three pages manage books, manage authors, and manage genres. For the drop down to function, we create a boolean to store whether the drop down is expanded and a method to change its value when clicked. Now that the drop down is working, let's create the manage authors and manage genres pages. First, remove any content related to authors and genres from manage books pages. Then we're going to create a manage page for authors and genres. After creating the new pages, the links should navigate to the correct destination. For better organization, I've created three folders, books, authors, and genres, containing the corresponding manage, add, and update pages. For the author pages, we have already completed the add author page. Now let's create the update author page by copying the content from add author and making necessary changes. Update the URL and add the ID of the author to update. Rename created author into updated author. Get the author by ID in the on initialized method. Capture the ID from the root into a variable called ID. Pass the variable as an argument to the get author method. Change the save method into the update method and change the text of the success message. Next, let's populate the manage authors page by copying the content from manage books and modifying it to suit our needs. The URL, the title, the add page href, the table list in the search box and the method called on search event. I showed how to create a simple search box in this video. Create the authors and filtered authors depending on the search term. Changing the repository and the method used. Here I forgot to change the type of the classes. The delete method. The go to add page method and its URL. The search method. Don't forget to change the table to display authors instead of books. Here in author books, this list is going to be empty because the authors table doesn't have a books column. But with entity framework magic, we can just include the books when getting the authors in the get author method in the author repository. Let's test it. Working great. Now, let's do the same for the manage genres and update genres pages. Copying and modifying content as needed. Let's start with update genre. and then manage genres as well. Let's test it. At this point, everything is functioning properly. However, if an admin forgets to fill in a field on any of the add or update forms, an error will occur. To address this, we need to change our forms into edit forms which already have validation support. Let's start with the add genre page. In authorized element, we add context equal of context to avoid conflicts with the edit form within it. Inside the edit form, we have a model attribute, which is the genre object we're working with, and an invalid submit event that triggers the update genre async method upon successful form validation. We use the data annotations validator and validation summary components to display any validation errors. For each inputs field, we bind the value to the corresponding property of the updated genre object using the add bind value directive. Note that the V is in uppercase. We also include validation message components for each input field to display field specific validation errors.
Finally, it is a save genre button for submitting the form, but it's not gonna call any method since it is called automatically on valid submission. For cases we need custom validation, such as verifying if the selected author has a valid ID, we can add a range condition to our forms like the following. I did the same for books and authors, and now all forms have validation that works perfectly. That's it for this video. If you find this useful, please like and subscribe. And until the next video, stay tuned.